A view from our Luther family, Ford uh, Valley News uh, live sky cam off to the west. There's a little sliver of sun. And from time to time, we have peaks of it at best, though uh, this evening we have more clouds than clear skies. And a look at that radar showing the active pattern that uh, just continues across the area. These showers are drifting from northwest to south and east and are more organized down in the south. That's where we see some of the heavier showers up north. A little bit of a break from the rainy activity, although there is some rain just off to the east of Winnipeg heading into north central portions of Minnesota near Lake of the Woods. Here's a heavy batch of showers pushing in toward the Breckenridge area right now in northern Richland County. Also a shower making its way right into the northern metro area in the next five minutes or so. Again, these are drifting at about 35 miles per hour from uh, eastern Ottertail County. We have some showers making their way off to the southeast kind of following that highway 10 corridor as we speak so showers here in the southern valley as we look off to the west on interstate 94 jamestown uh, near ypsilanti we have some showers passing through and southern parts of barnes county as well hit and miss showers across northwest minnesota and one just to the north of grand forks right now but that likely will slide just off to the east of you here in the upcoming half hour this low pressure system Wow, sitting here and spinning, not moving anywhere too fast, and it continues to throw clouds, wind, and even uh, passing showers of rain our way. Your temperatures, look at this, 52 in Roseau, 54 in Bedette. We slowly warm that up to 58 in Grand Forks, right at 60 in Fargo-Moorhead, and it is 66 in Jamestown. Hour by hour forecast does show the northwest winds will continue. Our showers on the radar right now, mainly in the Southern Valley, will continue drifting south and east. And for the most part, as we go towards 10 o'clock, it looks like the showers will be wrapping up. And notice a little bit of a breakup in the clouds out to the west. Temperatures at bedtime in the mid 50s. We'll see those temperatures continue to fall as we go through the overnight upper 40s and low 50s at most. So we don't fall a lot. But notice this, fewer clouds and no wind arrows. So we start out our Wednesday, for the most part, not as gusty as we have right now. Now the wind will pick up as we go through midday, but the sun will go to work and temperatures will feel so much better for your Wednesday in the afternoon. Where you see the blue arrows, we could have winds between 15 and 25 miles per hour, as opposed to those gusts near 40 miles per hour today. Now, late in the day, there'll be a few clouds wrapping around the backside of that low pressure system and they could impact the international border counties, but most of us should stay dry. Hour by hour forecast for Fargo, near 50 as you're heading out the door. Remember the winds from the west to northwest at around 15 to maybe as high as 25 miles per hour. Temperatures driving up into the mid 70s for our afternoon here in Fargo. We stay dry, a few clouds limiting temperatures to near 70 along the international border, 72 in Valley City. We're expecting temperatures in Lakes Country to be near 70, although we'll see a few more upper 60s there and a few more clouds near Lake of the Woods. Speaking of clouds from them from time to time, we get shocking sights like this. Glenn capturing this with a very quick trigger finger on the old camera. Awesome photo. Here's a look at your planning forecast. The dry weather continues on Thursday, but it will not be hot and it will be uh, windy once again. Closing out the work week, continuing our cooler than average pattern. Big bison day on, uh, on Saturday in Minneapolis. Spotty showers here, 75 degrees, and the rest of your holiday weekend looking delightful with just hit and miss showers and storms, primarily, <clears throat> pardon me, on Labor Day itself. It's trying to keep us happy, though. There's a 77. Yeah, I'm just a little bit. toward 80. It's getting close. <laughs> Thanks, Edge. Yeah.